Yo guys, what's going on? It's Vicious Vanilla, and um, I'm back with another clone series. So first off, I want to tell you guys that um, I want to apologize not for uploading any coding videos. It's just um, I I'm learning this new way of code that's much better. So I'll be starting to code like this, which is much more organized, and it's just ten times better in my opinion. It's like just the better way to code. It's uh, you'll uh, so let's just get right into this. All right, so. Like I was saying, let's get right into this code. So first off, you want to do as normal. You want to hit new Java project, like always. And I'm gonna call this Z YouTube and uh, no X YouTube. So it's at the bottom, so it's easy to access. So you create your Java project. Oh, Z's um, ABC Z's at the bottom. So whatever, that's still nice in there. So next off, what you want to do is you want to make a new package so what I like to do is me dot vicious dot abilities so this is mainly for a um, what's it called kit plugin me dot vicious dot cmd so you just want to create these multiple classes by right clicking on X YouTube new and package so um, me dot vicious dot listeners and uh, you may have seen this before um, I kind of learned from a few videos, and then me dot vicious dot main for the main class, and then lastly, uh, not a class, oops, and another package, and we're gonna call that me dot vicious dot utils. All right, so let me go into detail what these do. So the command, that's where you store all your commands. So like, uh, you know, when they do this command, this happens. The abilities are like the event handlers. That's where you store your event handlers. Listeners are also event handlers, but I have two separate ones. One's for kits, and this one's for main, like, you know, like death drops, and when you don't want drops to be uh, on the ground. Um, and then the main, that's where your main class is, where you register all the events. And the utils is where you give them the armor, the swords, anything you want. So now we're going to go into what you want to create. So first off what you want to do is um, make the classes in the main folder so by doing so you just do new class and call it main and now you got your main oh I, one thing we gotta do is import the java build paths so what I like to do is import um, import craft bucket so it's on my test server so let's just go to test server where is here and then you import 1.7 it's out now and uh, I like to import vault so let's import vault and there we go so now those are all imported and ready to go alright so now we want to create our main uh, class so what you want to do um, we're just going to do the main class instead of the main utils today so what you want to do um, you want to extend the Java plugin like any other um, coding thing, and you want to implement listener. So then just import those. Uh, to import them using a hotkey, you can do Control Shift O, all holding at the same time, and it'll do that all at the same time. So now, next off, what we want to do, I like having that down there. Um, for future purposes, I'm gonna do this right away. We're gonna put vault in. Actually, no, we'll do that later. So what we just want to do is do the on enable. So we do public void on enable, and then open up some brackets. And you do um, what you want to do is register your commands. So this is registering all the commands from the. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Register commands. So basically what this does, it registers all the commands from command, uh, what's it called, command, that, uh, what's it, the package, oh, wait, 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 we misspelled me in this, let's create new command again, I put mc on accident, me dot vicious dot command, there we go, so now what you want to do is you want to register events, all right, so now, now we just put our public void on disable, and don't worry about those errors; they will clear up in a second. You don't need anything on the disable. 
So what's this there here? Public void on disable. All right. Well, anyway, so now what we want to do is basically uh, now this is where you register all those commands. So you do public, oops, public void register commands. Open up a bracket, and then this is where all the um, what's it called? All the commands are registered. And now I know why these are giving the this is giving me error. We forgot to close the bracket on enable, so now those are gone. So now, uh, let's delete that token. Okay, so now we want to register events. So it's pretty much exactly the same, but you do public void. Uh, register events. So public void register events and open up a bracket. So now those are set and now you're done with the main class and actually no not yet. No not yet. No. So in the register events you always do like public plugin manager get server dot get plugin manager. So what we want to do is plugin manager pm equal all right, sorry about that, guys. My um, my recording kind of messed up. So what I was doing, I said plugin pm equals, and what you want to do is get server dot get plugin manager, and that's just there for reference. Now, let me explain a few things here. So now. Basically, the public void on enable. This is when the plugin is enabled, it'll register all the commands. So it'll go here. It registers all the commands that there is, and there will be commands here eventually. And and then it registers events. So it registers all the event handlers. So now we're gonna get into the utils. So you want to right-click this new class, and I already created it, but the recording got weird. So hit class and then name it utils with capital U. So now this is basically where you store like all your, uh, you know, what's it called? You could say things that you use a lot. That's what I like to think of it. You can store your array list here, all sorts of things. So let's get right into this. After this, uh, this will be the end of the episode. And so this is going to be called like a kit plugin mini series like no kit plugin project and we're not gonna go into like amazing kits but we're gonna go into the basics like Viper you know all that good stuff so first off with the plugin uh, public class utils this is what we wanna do so really all we have to do in the utils uh, what I like to do first off this is so where you store everything um, I like to create a public static string italic equals chat color the italic plus quotes so th basically um, I this is where you store everything so you can reference this instead of typing chat color dot italic you can just put italic and stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and store everything that I like to keep here uh, so this is the bold one plus that okay so now we want a public static main. This is important. You have to add this one. Um, and then, what I like to do is have a. Oh, let's import main. You import main from your me.vicious.main.main. Dot dot main. So it, the utils plug the utils class can see your main and access that. Okay. So then public. Uh, oh yeah, I like to have a prefix on things. So um, I uh, let's just make a prefix. Uh, chat color dot white plus and then in quotes this uh, bracket thing plus chat color dot you know let's just do green plus and then let's just put X YouTube and then you want to end that with a bracket dot white plus and then a bracket and then a space so you don't have to worry about that so basically with this prefix you can use this anytime you don't have to type that every single time so that's very helpful so now um, what I like to do next is here's where the use kit comes in okay so 
public static and now hash map um you may not know what hash map is but i'm not going to go into detail with those um you don't need to know too much about them for uh, a kit plugin so you know this is just for this type of coding you need a hash map and uh so yeah let's import that so hash maps are basically another storing kind of thing so now that's uh the use kit so right so when they have that it's like use kit and stuff like that so now we want to have what i like to do is i have a uh, so now let me explain before i go on um some advertiser okay so let me explain this so now this is what i was saying a utils is where you can rename things you can name things but this is the main utils so what's in every kit everything so what does every kit have they usually have bowls right so what i like to do is public static uh... item stack get bowl so this will make it so when they have a bowl it will do the following item stack item stack equals new item stack material material dot bowl so this is saying uh, this is getting into item stacks you want to import from bucket and then bucket so this is getting into what I like to say is uh, this is getting into item stacks and with item stacks uh, basically there you get it it's for renaming objects so then we need an item meta so you do item meta meta equals item stack dot get item meta alright then you want to open up uh, next thing you do item meta dot set display name so sets the display name of the object which is a bowl and we're gonna make it let's just do gold and we're gonna rename the bowl to bowl but it's in gold so it looks a lot nicer you might see this on certain services import item meta and then lastly what you want to do is you do item stack dot set item meta item meta okay so oh I misspelled item stack item stack and then lastly you want to return your item stack so there we go that got rid of that error there so basically whenever I'll get more into details of how to use this because right now all you're saying is um, public stack static item stack get bull you're not doing anything with it yet it's not automatically gonna do this you have to do some thir certain things I'm gonna get into that n next few episodes so now let's finish this off let's finish this utils so now what I like to do you need this uh, in any kit plugin is the kit use so let's just use kit use player p okay so now this is the message uh, let's import player this is the message when someone's already picked a kit so you do p dot send message prefix because you want that prefix there chat color dot mm, let's do red because that's a nice color and then let's just say you have already picked a kit alright so that's pretty easy right there okay so now now that that's done now let's create um you know you want you have a git bowl let's might as well have a git soup so let's do public static item stack git soup and open up some brackets then you want to do let's just copy and paste this save some time and all you have to do is change this to mushroom underscore soup and change this to your liking i'll do mushroom soup and we'll make it green alright so now you have the soup now um... you know you can do any sorts of things you know you can do lots of things but now you want to have all that basic stuff like whenever you do a um... whenever you're coding a kit you usually clear their inventory you clear their potion effects you clear their armor slots and that's what we're going to do now. So, when they have um this is going to be a public this this one right here um is going to clear their potion effects. 
So we're just going to call this clear potion. And then player P, you know, define that, you know. And open up a bracket, scroll down a little bit, here we go. So then you want to do a four statement. Four potion effect effects P dot get active potion effects. So we're getting all their active potion effects. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to open up a bracket and we're going to remove those. It's just that symbol. P dot remove potion effect effects dot get type. And that's all you have to do to remove all the potion sip effects active. Now let's do control space O. Import all those and get Oh, I accidentally put action. It's active. Sorry, guys. Active. Okay. So now that, that removes all the potion effects, next off, what I like to have is, you know, um, if they have no permission. You know, that's important. So public static void. No perms. Player P. Okay. So then you want to open that up and you want to just send them the message. This is the message when you are when they don't have permission so let's do chat color dot mm, ch -ch -ch red and you say you have no permission okay so now that's almost all the basics all we have to do now is clear their inventory and a few other things so now um, public static void clear inventory player P and you know this is all the basic things that you need to have so you just p dot get inventory dot clear and then the to clear their uh, what's it called armor you just do set armor context new item stack and then four and then uh, that's all you have to do for that so now that clears their inventory, that clears their all their armor. Now, um, a good thing to do. This is kind of getting a little advanced here, but when you want to add a potion effect, this will save a little bit of time. But it may be confusing to some, to some of you. But let's just go ahead and get right into this. Public static void add potion. Okay, and we're gonna do player. P int duration potion effect type potion. You want to do integer and a string. Okay. Now you open up your bracket and you just do a p dot add potion effect new potion effect potion. Oh, not capital potion. Uh, duration and string I believe and then you close that import everything and so yeah basically now all you have to do is add potion instead of this whole command so and lastly um, in this you know this is kinda getting into things that aren't necessary but you can have this um, this is when you wanna send someone a message instead of um, instead of being p dot send message um all you have to do oh prefix plus message all right so basically what this is doing instead of p dot send message you can save some time and do send message and lastly whenever this is key i like these on kit servers when you pick a kit it sets your health to uh full health so uh, it's simple so just do public static void uh let's just do health and then you can just do player p open up a bracket and then do p dot set health and then just do 20 and that's because it's and i hate it when it does this um i have to import bucket Im Okay, so it's, let's just restart our external jars. Um, I like to have bucket. Yeah, I like to have bucket in there. It gets rid of some of these errors, and then craft bucket as well. 
So then, craft buckets on my desktop on the server file. Where is that? Ch -ch -ch server and craft bucket, and then import vault again for the future of our plugin. So you know, basically vault is there for the money when you kill someone and stuff like that. So now that gets rid of that. So if you if you get that error, all you have to do is import bucket, which is on bucket website, I think. So you guys, that's all I'm going to include for this video. I it, I know it was a bit long, but you know it's necessary to get the basics out of the way so we can start coding some kits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please drop a like for some more and I'll go into some more detail next time. It's just this was a long video. So we got our main file done and our utils and I hope you guys enjoy this and next time we'll be going over um, maybe some abilities and some commands and listeners and we'll see what see how that goes so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time guys peace